Okay guys, um, I'm going to show you how to change one of your buttons. Um, now on my deal or no deal, I believe at some point someone has, uh, I mean I only got this yesterday, but someone I'm sure has dropped a bottle of coke over it or something like that, so um, it's all sticky and the buttons are sticking, so I'm having to um, change all the um, all, all the buttons in it. So, um, so what we start, obviously you open the doors up, and then with your buttons that you want to, with whichever button you want to change just grab hold of the um, the switch which is the black thing that all the wires are connected to and just rotate it slightly counterclockwise until it clicks like that and you should just be able to pull it straight out like that and you see it's got a bulb connected to it that bulb's quite clean by the looks of things so that's not too bad I mean my start button was actually caked if I show you the bulb that was in it I don't know if you can uh, quite see that if I was to focus on it. But basically, I mean, that was that. Oh, there you go. You see, it's all. Oh, it's just minging. Got the sticky stuff all over it. So, um, so basically, yeah. So, just like I say, you, you you pull that out like that. That seems quite clean. Um, don't really need to do much with that unless your switch is faulty. Um, I mean, so if you were, if you did have a faulty switch, all you'd need to do really is disconnect all your wires out of it. If I do this now, I'll uh, I'll show you. So yeah, I, I can't really do this two hands, but uh, one hand, sorry. Um, but what I do is I'll, I'll disconnect all these connectors here, but just make a note of where they actually all are. Thing in there. there we go, right, so that's out now. So you're left with your switch like that with the bulb attached to it. Okay, so all you need to do in order to release the switch from the bulb joint, you have on the one side of it, you'll have um, a bigger hinge. Like what I said about the the the, um, the coin mechanism, and then all you do is push, pull that away, and twist uh, the switch away from it because that's also um, a hinge point there where it's just pivoting on it. Just pivot away, and it comes away. See what I mean about? It? And then to put it back in, which all you do is put that bit in first, and then push it in, and pull that bit back in there like that. Okay. And then all you do again also is like, you know, then hook up all your all your wires, and then um, yeah, that's that's that. So um, with the going back to the button. Okay. So once you've pulled out. Your switch. I so say you don't have to undo the wires. It's only if you um, have a, a, a switch problem. Um, but with this, now you'll be left with um, one of these, and this is just basically a screw. You just unscrew it counterclockwise. So it comes away, and there's also oh, that bit's dropped. There's also a little washer in there as well. I mean, as you can see under there, it is absolutely filthy. I'm sure that's a, that coke is responsible for that. So, you're left with them. Keep them somewhere safe. And, um, yeah, so like I say, then you're uh, just left with that. And this, unless it's, um, if you're casing slightly out of thing, you may need to screw it. But this, this should just pull out like that. I say that is absolutely filthy, and if you, you'll see if I bring this down, that is filthy as well. I mean, this has got to be X Pub X, X Arcade because that is just absolutely filthy. Okay, so once we're left with this, we've got that button here. And it's our transfer button. All we need to do now 
So I need to position this so that you can actually, uh, I can use two hands. Okay, so all you need to do is squeeze these white bits here. Gently, otherwise it will break and then push it in and this will release the white area out from the button so you're left with one casing and one button and I am using Mr. Sheen with Dust Trap because it leaves a, a nice um, like layer of I don't know what it is but um, but basically just spray it all around and then I've also got my microfiber cloth and I'm just literally just going to rub it to hell and back to get rid of all that shit on there because it is proper caked in crap okay so now we're uh, now we're away that's nice and clean okay so we'll put that to one side next thing we want to do is we want to clean this button um, take the spring out, spring doesn't really matter that's going to work no matter whether it's caked in crap or not and again just spray the outside first light, light coating of polish or whatever you're going to use I would recommend polish because it's like I say with the Mr Sheen it's got dust trap technology whatever the hell that is and then also what I want to do because um, I don't know if you can see from this video but it's kind of stuck the transfer sticker decal is actually stuck inside the glass and it's making a kind of circle inside so what I'm going to do is just get your finger in there your fingernail or a screwdriver and just literally yeah sorry about the fingernails I have been cleaning this thing quite a while now just slide it along and just pull it out and then let's say you're left with that I mean don't worry about cleaning the inside of that oops if I can drop it that would help and then say so you're left with this just tap it on the top or move it about on the inside and um, it should come away if not just just wiggle it about a bit it will I mean, this one's got a little um, white innard inside it and again like because this is stuck down you just want to like push down with your finger on the top of it and kind of get your finger in there and really I'm going to try and pry it out because I say this has been a right bugger. Okay, so after uh, struggling for a little while, um, I thought of an idea. Um, I've stuck some electrical tape, I mean, normal tape will do as well. Um, and I'm just going to push that onto that. I've reversed it. Stuck it. There we go. So that's around now. Uh, thank God for that. Okay, so now I just need to polish up. The decal, get this stick and this bit of tape off my hand. Just polish the sticker up. I mean, that's had a fair bit of polish on it already. Because when I, I sprayed a load of polish in there and it went in all the crevices of the thing, so nice and shiny. And let's say, just do the same with the other bit. This is like a bit, bit worse, so. Just uh, get your cloth and do the same. And when you feel that it's uh, clean enough, that's quite clean. Wait, get out of here. Oh, away. <laughs> Just getting all the corners in. And then just put it back together, how you had it. Transfer button in, 
white backing plate in, clip it all in together like that, on top of this button holder here, as you can actually see if you can see in there. I really do think that Coke was the culprit. Stick that in like that. Close it down like that. Then what you want to do is get hold of your spring. Uh, I would recommend taking a Coke dryer and all these things because they are small and push your string, uh, the spring in there. Now when putting this back together to save you a bit of time, this bottom bit here has got a um, black sticking out of it. That indicates that that's the bottom, so that's the right way up like that, because that's the bottom there. Okay, so that's the, and then like I say, all you need to do is push it in properly like that. What you may need to do is just squeeze the ends of that together so you can get it in like that. Push it back down. And then what should happen is it should clip back into there like that. And then when you push it, as you can see it is uh, much better than what it was originally. And then all you need to do to get your bowl, I mean, I say if you haven't done it already, but imagine that's in the fruit machine like that. I mean, actual fact, I'll show you when it's in the fruit machine. So don't forget your um, your washer and whatnot. And before you do that, actually, before I do that, I'm just going to give it a quick go over in the inside here because that is like proper minging. I'll just get you a microfiber and just. If this bit, you only want to spray a little bit of polish. You don't really want. Going all over your electrics, really. So you just scrub away. Shit there. Just proper get in there. Right out. Yeah, so one clean buttonhole, and then all you do is stick your transfer button in like that. Make sure it's obviously the right way around, because that would be a bugger, really, wouldn't it? And then on the inside here, stick your washer on first. Plastic washer, a tighter though. Don't drop it. Like I just did. So then once the washer and the screw are on, just twist it till it's tight. I wouldn't over twist it though, don't cause any problems. Like you see, so now that's working really well and it's really light. Um, and then get your switch, so you've got your switch here, and just place it in so that the, well, like I say, look at the ones around you. So we've got one sticking down the bottom here and two sticking down the bottom here. Um, so that's your one and your two there, and just push it in nicely like that, and that should be in there like that. And then if you have untaken off all your wires, and just place all your wires back on, nice and easy. There we go, and now give your button a test, and it should be hitting your switch. And that is one very smooth button. Alright, thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for more.